Hi there, it's Martinez here from MyLifestyleDream.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to select a uh, an eToro trader. So how to find the best traders on the eToro platform for you to, in, uh, to invest in. We're going to look at a few things. We're going to look at the selection filter, so uh, the search mechanisms, which will help you uh, select your criteria with which to choose your traders. We're going to give you 10 top tips for um, selecting people. I'm going to look at a few sample profiles and then finally I'm going to give you my short list of traders as well. So the first thing you want to do is hop on over to um, eToro.com and click on the people link in the left hand side and you'll be taken to a page like this which is basically a list of all of the traders so there's thousands of different traders on the platform um, you know the what we want to do today is try to find traders that are right for you and um, right for your risk profile so the page is split up by um, some filters which have been applied already so we've got top investors uh, people that are trending most copied uh, traders we've got lower uh, traders with lower risk or medium risk score so you, know, you just click into these if you like and have a look around okay so you've had a bit of a play around with the uh, the search filters um, looked at a few uh, profiles so I guess you're wondering now um, what are my top tips and a little bit of advice about um, the different traders uh, different uh, strategies to use so um, the first thing you want to do really is make sure that um, the, the the person has been um, trading on eToro for a minimum of a year um, I find um, you really need to um, have a look at their track track record and understand whether there's been highs and lows um, you know how consistent they are across that time whether they've lost a lot of money um, you know it's, it's easy for someone to come onto the platform and trade for one or two months and see really really high um, percentage returns it's a lot harder for someone to do that consistent consistent consistently over at least a year so you want to always look for that um, next so you can check the charts by simply going on there clicking on their profile you go to the stats menu and then you can see how long they've been on here by looking at the uh, years that they've been trading um, second thing you want to do is um, check how communicative they are so each eToro trader has got their own feed um, I think it's really useful that they are communicative um, they um, they respond uh, well to questions you know after all you're investing your money in these guys um, you want to make sure that they, uh, they they have a bit of understanding in what they're doing um, so I think that's also a good as always a good measure to um, to see how much they respond to the uh, to the audience um, <clears throat> next thing to do you want to check for uh, consistency so looking at their um, looking at their graph you want to have um, a nice even graph here ideally this would be nice and green all the way across um, and consistent not like lots of highs and lots of lows um, because that's just a little bit too erratic and um, you could end up losing a lot of money I mean this guy look here he's lost 80% 80, 80 of his account in one in one session there one month so um, you know you want to avoid those kind of traders really um, I guess the other thing to note is if someone's trading in um, in, in Forex um, ideally you would um, you, you would invest in someone who really um, focuses on a, a couple of Forex uh, trading uh, currency pairs so one to three trading pairs really just because it's quite a sort of specialist knowledge that you need um, so you want to make sure that they're specializing in uh, you know just a, a couple of um, currencies and not diversifying their knowledge um, the next thing to look at is the uh, daily drawdown or weekly drawdown stats so these numbers here um, you don't really want to have anything um, much higher than 15% uh, really I'd say because you know that's that's a lot of your money that can get wasted um, if they're um, if they're quite erratic so you want to keep 
uh, keep an eye on that as a good indicator next tip um, like I said before you want to really steer clear of people that have 100% um, profitable trades anything over 85% is going to be suspicious um, I would um, you know or you can always check by going to their portfolio looking at the number of open trades if there's a load of trades in this section here that are in the red get out of there run away from that person it's like they're just holding on to those trades um, to make their account look good <clears throat> next thing to look at as well is uh, for people that are um, that have really high percentage uh, returns so let's put uh, let's just do a ch check on one of these uh, um, so people that with a very high um, percentage returns are likely to um, blow up their account at some point in my opinion um, okay I'm just gonna have a look for a shorter period see if we can find a good example here okay here we go so this guy here 668 percent return so on the face of it I'm like wow I'll put a bit of money in with this guy and um, you know he's gonna make me mass returns. I can bet you if I look on his profile he would have lost a load of money at some point as well so let's click in look 668 there let's step back a bit though 2015 minus 85 minus 100 minus 96 uh, oh my word so he goes all the way back to 2010 and he's made lots of losses there so typically someone who's going to be having really high percentage uh, returns they're either only they've either only just been um, investing um, <clears throat> recently on the uh, on the platform uh, you know for a month or so or um, they're going to be a little bit dodgy I would have thought so steer clear of them um, tip number eight I would steer clear of people who've got a high copy to manual ratio so if they're copying a lot of other uh, traders instead of doing the trading themselves it just shows that they're probably not as professional as some of the other traders and um, don't uh, have that much uh, as much trading knowledge as someone who does all of their trading manually um, again look into traders and if look into their portfolio if they've got a load of open trades in here steer clear of them and then the last tip I would give you is to make sure that you read um, read the bio for the person make sure they've got something uh, professional and useful to say about themselves okay great so there's my uh, top 10 tips I hope you find those useful um, next we're going to have a look at a few sample profiles okay so now we're going to take a look at some sample eToro profiles um, to see if we can put into practice what we've just just learned and look at some good good and bad examples so let's start off by uh, let's look at, have a look at someone that I've been following recently it's this guy called um, Dimitros <clears throat> so firstly first thing I'm gonna do is jump into his stats so he's made 5.7% so far in 2016. 2015, you can see he's got a fairly consistent uh, profile here, 6% to 1, 34 He had a bit of a loss in August. Overall, so he's made 13% um, last year, 34% the year before, 54 the year before that. So he's fairly sort of consistent. He doesn't make... Uh, a masses of uh, uh, massive returns each month he's fairly consistent between two to ten percent um, I kind of like that it's um, long-term steady growth rather than crazy numbers he did have a blip if I go back into tw well 2012 it's not a blip it's actually a really bad year he lost 63 percent um, I guess he, he's put that down to experience um, if we read his bio it says his, his first priority is not to make losses with your money, seek an opportunity for growth, spots opportunities in the markets, um, and he aims at steady, long-term, sustainable growth. So I quite like um, what he's got to say. His risk profile is fairly even between one to four over the last uh, year or so. Maximum drawdowns, 
daily is 10% and 14% weekly. It's not so bad. It's pretty good actually. Uh, it's got 273 copiers gone down recently. It's not a lot, but you know, um, it's not too bad. It's got 100,000 to 300,000 um, assets under management. Splits is trading between indices and commodities. Um, and has he got any open trades? Let's have a look. So we'll go to his portfolio. No, he's got nothing in there. So overall, I find this guy is fairly sort of a consistent performer. Um, he, his stats fairly good. You know, I'm looking for sort of fairly consistent growth like that as well. So I, he's someone that I would recommend. Um, let's look at someone else. So there's this lady called Noah Noah. So she is <clears throat> quite famous. She's been on the eToro platform for a couple of years, I believe, but I think she's really well known. In her first year, she made, we look at the graph here, last year she made sort of consistent uh, greens across her graph here. The previous year, she made 597%, which is why I guess she's got 3,676 3, copiers. I like it though, I mean, her risk profile is four, average is only about four. Drawdowns are only seven and nine percent, which is really good. Lots of money under management. She solely trades in currencies, really focuses on a few currency pairs here. Um, let's have a look at her open trades. So she's got just got a couple of currency pay, uh, pairs there. You can also click into this button here, and you can drill down into um, markets. You can get further detail on what they're investing in. So it's all currencies, really. For her. Um, the other thing about her is that she um, she's very active in the community. Um, if we look at her feed, she always responds to comments. She's got a uh, you know she, she's probably the most active member of the the community. So any questions you got, you can ask her really as well. So. Um, not a bad idea to invest in someone like her and then let's have a look at this guy here so on the face of it he um <clears throat> spanish guys uh well speaks spanish he's actually from mexico i think um <clears throat> not doing so well at the moment but you know there's been a probably the worst start to the uh to a financial uh to well the worst start to a, to a year for a long time uh, for stocks anyway so this guy trades mainly in stocks right um, what I like about him though is over the past few years he's got a really nice 30% 20% 26% there's you know it's nice and consistent it's not masses you know there's no major jumps or major losses it's always like a few percent each month it's a kind of performance I like his um, <clears throat> his risk rate his risk number is quite consistent 82 copy is not a great deal, but I'm not so concerned about that. Um, he has got a lot of open stocks which are in the red at the moment, so I'd like to just keep an eye on that and make sure that he closes those off fairly shortly. Um, or you've got the option when you copy him um, that uh, you don't have to copy the open trades either. So. Um, you know, there's just a couple of good examples of people that I'd follow. Let's see if we can find a bad example. Um, so let's go back to the, the filter. Um, let's try to find someone who's got over 300%. In the last six months. Okay, so there's a number of people here. Let's see who the highest is. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of all of these other filters and see what we can get back. Okay. Okay. All right. So this guy here, 7,000%. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> I bet there's going to be some kind of issue with his account here. So looking into it, if I he's had one, two, three, four months here where he's been making phenomenal returns. 
So you could have made an absolute killing there. Let's just check though, before three months into 2014, he also blew up his account a number of times. So you'd have lost a lot of money. He's got a risk score of 10. Maximum drawdowns of 60%, 66% here. That's a lot of money. Um, <clears throat> portfolio empty. I don't think I would invest in him. If you're after a quick buck, maybe he's someone that you would invest in. Um, I'm a little bit more cautious with my uh, money, so it's not someone I would take on. Munzho, let's have a look at this person. Um, so, okay, 2016, so he made 7,215% loss in uh, February and 4,900 in uh, September. Oh, that's amazing. 100% weekly and daily drawdown. This is like dodgy, dodgy, dodgy all over him. 13 trades per week. You want to stay clear of someone like this. I think the stats are fairly easy to see there. You know, maybe you get one of his lucky months and you make a load of money and then you can retire on a Caribbean island. I wouldn't touch this guy with a barge pole. But you can see the trend, you know, these guys are all going to have high risk. This one's quite interesting, actually. It's got a risk ratio, rating of four. I don't know why his risk rating is only four. Maybe. So he made 915% last year. All basically in August. There must have been some great trades going on there. But again, you can see he's... You know, he's up and down a lot, down for nearly 50%, then 10 you know, he's not consistent performer, drawdowns, no, not too bad, but you get you get the picture, you want to just be um, careful with these guys. Okay, so, um, you know, let's uh, just be careful, spend a bit of time going through, um, checking out these guys. Um, always check their numbers you know this guy here for example has been trading for two months great he's made 209 percent but you know you want to be careful with these guys longer history is better okay um so that's it okay guys so next we're going to have a look at my shortlist my uh selection of uh traders that i've spent a bit of time on and think that i'm um, i'm going to invest in next month um, so let's just have a look at these guys. So I've got a list of about uh, 10 or so. First one is Maciej Zawaliak. Probably pronounced that completely wrong. Um, so this guy is interesting. Um, he has really um, 456 copiers. He has made a really high uh, returns last year. So I'm kind of going a little bit against what I said earlier, but he is one of my um, uh, one of the risks I'm willing to take. You know, he's got a good a uh, lot of greens here. You know, hundred, hundred, hundred. He made four thousand percent last year. His risk ratio is one, one or two. You know, it's fairly consistent. Maximum drawdown twenty five percent daily, weekly. That's still a bit too high for me. Um, split up across commodities and things. He. Only, he's only got one open trade. Um, one thing what you want to do is make sure that your portfolio is balanced. So I'm going to take a risk on this guy, but make sure that I've balanced that out with a lot more uh, with other traders who are a lot lower risk. So that's the reason I'm including this guy on my portfolio. This next one, Nor Trading. He's not been on the platform very long, actually. Um, Specializes in currency, does an um, um, where is he here? So he hasn't made massive gains, but he's like nice and green all the way along here. Low risk profile, a uh, certain number of copiers, 300,000 assets, um, drawdown of 15, 16, and 18 percent. He could be worth a punt as well. Um, so I would stick some money on that guy. No, no, and Demetrius we looked at earlier. 
Samira 786 so um, this lady I believe is a uh, she's from India she's a part-time uh, dentist and market analyst but she's been a consistent performer over the last few years so you can see she's made 414 450 40 percent she hasn't blown up her account it's nice and consistent low risk level maximum drawdowns of 11 and 20 percent um, she trades you know a few currency pairs um, does a few trades a week so you know I, I'm quite interested in her she is uh, she updates her feed quite a lot so I think overall she's a good one to invest in uh, next person trading relax um, this Italian guy I believe um, doesn't make phenom phenomenal gains um, but it's fairly consistent with growth you know 16 15 percent here maybe worth a point on his his risk rate um, risk levels are very low as well um, <clears throat> and his drawdown is only seven percent so fairly safe bet you know someone who you could balance your portfolio out with um, running Chris now this guy is interesting um, again he would be a bit of a risk for me because um, I believe he's only been uh, on the platform for yeah just just under a year it's made some good profits 309 percent everyone likes a bit of that really uh, his risk has fluctuated from seven down to about three now he has lost 72 percent in his drawdowns as well so to be honest I'm not so sure I'd go with this guy I might leave it a little bit longer to evaluate his profile but um, he's quite interesting I think he's, he's quite well known in the community as well um, trying to gain one to three percent per month he's a seasoned trader since 2008 you know so follow him if, if, if you uh, if you like I guess um, who else have we got Hugo we had a look at him earlier Mr. G, um, so this guy, um, he runs a social uh, trading guru website. Um, <clears throat> I like the look of him, to be honest. He trades um, in a sort of wide variety of things. He's got a balanced portfolio. He's after a steady um, increase in, uh, in, in returns. Unfortunately, he's lost 20% in January due to the, the collapse of the stock exchange. Um, but he's very communicative um, in, in in the forums and in different places uh, and I think he's on a mission to earn a million dollars in 10 years so I've got faith that he's going to come back and you know there'll be a lot of greens for the rest of the year so I think I'm going to invest in this guy maximum drawdowns at 12 and 14 percent so he's fairly low risk as well worth a punt on him Tom uh, Forex Pyra I think um, <clears throat> don't think there's anything too special about this guy I think I was going to remove him actually he's a little bit inconsistent yeah nothing great about him Tom Willisey uh, I think he shows look so this guy has got loads of open trades here as well don't know how long they've been open uh, his stats I think weren't that great either I mean he's low risk I don't think I'm going to go with him though just because he doesn't make that much profit here and a lot of open trades as well so probably not the best Anna Serafini she is uh, really well known on the platform as well pretty consistent performer I think she does mainly uh, currencies yeah a few currency pairs 70% um, past couple of years um, what's her yeah eight and ten percent drawdowns I think she's worth it um, let's have a look at the portfolio a couple of currency pairs there as well so um, probably worth a punt on her as well final one that I've got is this guy here Iri, Iri Arojo. 
Brazilian guy. Can't remember why I chose him now. Um, 78%, 137%. Yeah, he does fluctuate quite a lot actually. 64. Mm. Not sure why I chose him. 12%, uh, 30%. Two trades a week. Yeah, not so convinced that I'd go with him either, to be honest. You get the picture, though. You want to, you know, just go and interrogate all of their profiles, send them a message or two. Um, really uh, ha have a play around and, and just spend some time following them and watching their behavior before you invest in them. Okay, that's it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed what I've talked through today. I know there's been quite a lot to take in. Uh, hopefully you'll find it useful and you can start to make some money from eToro. Uh, my name is Martinos from MyLifestyleDream.com. Um, have a look at our website www.MyLifestyleDream.com um, where we look at social trading, matched betting, uh, making money from websites and a lot of different ways that you can help you generate passive income okay guys that's it for now um happy trading and plenty of greens